All right, uh, first and foremost, we give all praises, honor, and glory to the Most High God, Yahweh. We do so in the name of his only begotten Son, who the world calls Christ, Yahweh Shai. Brother Chief Priest, Allah is our Deacon Akai. Yeah, and um, tonight, for tonight's class, we have a very special presentation through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai with an um, observational science experiment that was conducted well over a half a century ago. And a lot of us are familiar with this experiment. It's called the Black Doll, White Doll Experiment or the Black Doll, White Doll Test. Many of us have seen some of the videos picking which doll is pretty, which doll is ugly, which doll is good, which doll is bad, etc. Many of us have seen these videos. But what has been hidden from us and what we have obtained through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai today, what's been hidden from us was the totality and the full scope, the full scope now of the results of this science experiment, of the findings of the individuals that conducted this test. This has been unbeknownst to us for decades, right? Uh -huh. And it's extremely important that we go into this data, we analyze this data through the spirit, and we bring it forth, and we show that there is a very important lesson that is taught in this data, right? I have to switch the data, <laughs> right? The data got to be switched because we've only been presented one scope of this experiment, totally disregarding the other scope of this experiment, and that's what we're going to go into today with the historical data, right? It's going to be very, very, very important for us to understand through the spirit and power of Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah. All right? And Khan, Khan, and what, what, it, what it ultimately shows is the information and the, the full scope of the research that the brother's talking about is uh, 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 the, the children, how how when, when our people aren't fighting to integrate into European education systems and European society, right? When they're not fighting for that and when they're drinking from their own cistern, Hassad, if you can get that, when they're drinking from their own cistern, cistern meaning wells, because I know a lot of uh, so-called blacks, you know, a, a lot of you Negroes who are not even familiar with the truth, uh, are going to be watching this video, so we're going to just deal with the milk. We're going to deal with the milk right now, right? So when the scriptures say "drink out of your own cisterns," it's dealing with your own wells, providing for your own, right? Learning from your own, uh, 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 um, a, a, a isolated private doctrine, heritage, culture, identity, preference, etc. Right? Not wanting to mix in with the other nations around you. Because that's what happened during this black doll, white doll experiment. And you're going to see all the data. You're going to see all the research from the actual documents. See, they redid it in the 90s and they redid it in the early 2000s. But like the brother said, it goes all the way back to the late 30s, early 40s when they conduct, conducted rather some of the first tests. All right. So it just goes to show you that. So let me just debrief you guys real quick. So. Make sure everybody can see my screen. Can they see the screen? Kind of. Okay, so, so there was 253 Negro children here, and 134 of the children were from the South. They were in segregated schools, no racially mixed schools. Segregated neighborhoods. Segregated neighborhoods. Black everything. Right. So... The white kids, I'm sorry. Real, <laughs> the, real quick, try B from Tawadi Yaba Shimia Shah for the uh, super chat. Slack it, go ahead. Khan, so the black kid, the Negro kids from the north, they were in integrated neighborhoods, integrated uh, uh, school systems, right? Um, um, and so on. So you're getting the full scope when you read the actual article the genesis of this whole experiment right it says by kenneth b clark and and, and mammy p clark so what the what the research shows and you're going to see that the kid the negroes the, the black kids in the south that were in segregated communities neighborhoods and schools they were choosing the black doll 
when it came to positive attributes, positive characteristics, and they were choosing the white doll less in contrast or in comparison to the Negroes from the North, right? So what does this show you? This shows you that the Bible is real, that the Bible is true. The most high ordained segregation from the beginning, and we're gonna read that scripture. And the Bible also says that black is beautiful. So these kids, these segregated kids from the South were actually in the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, right? So let's read some of this article and then we're going to get into some of the tablets. If you wanted to elaborate on anything I said, feel free. I'm, I'm going to read the article. So it says racial identification and preference, right? We're going to start off the problem. The, the specific problem of this study is an, is an analysis of the genesis of the uh, and development of racial, racial identification as a function of ego development and self-awareness in Negro children. Race awareness in a primary sense is defined as a conscious consciousness of the self as belonging to a specific group, which is differentiated from other observable groups by obvious physical char characteristics, which are generally accepted as being racial characteristics. Because the problem of racial identification is so definitely related to the problem of the genesis of racial attitudes in children. It was thought practic pra practicable to attempt to determine the racial attitudes or preferences of these Negro children and to define more precisely as far as possible the developmental pattern of this relationship. So they're telling you why they're doing this, uh, this procedure or um, uh, 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 um, why Negro kids have certain racial attitudes, where does it stem from, so on and so forth. So in, in trying to, to identify this, they implement a procedure. So it says, this paper presents results from only one of several techniques devised and used by authors to investigate the development of racial identification and preferences in Negro children. Source one at the bottom. Results presented here are from the dolls test. The subjects were presented with four dolls identical in every aspect except for skin color. Two of these dolls were brown with black hair and two were white with yellow hair. In the expert uh, aside, matter of fact, I forgot. Bring that scripture out before I forget, and also get um, um that yellow hair in Leviticus. Go ahead. Um, this is Proverbs chapter five, verse fifteen. It says, "Drink waters out of thine own cistern." Drink waters out of thine own cistern. That word for cistern is dealing with a well. So the Lord is saying, "Deal with your own people. Love yours. Love your own. Build your own community." Stop trying to integrate and mix in and permeate with the heathen. That's right. So go ahead. And running waters out of thine own well. And running waters out of thine own well. Now give me that in Leviticus if you know that off top. Because you see how it says yellow hair. They know it's not blonde hair. They know it's yellow hair. Well, let's see what the Bible says about uh, yellow hair and, 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 and white skin. Matter of fact, get that as well because I was going to save that, but we're going to delve into this. We're going to show you how our children have been so warped to think something that God has cursed is actually beautiful and good. The white man is the devil that the Bible speaks of. And I'm going to tell you right now, he is a perfectly 100% great devil. He's perfect at what he does. That's right. At deceiving the whole world to think leprous hair and leprous skin is actually beautiful and leprous eyes. Well, what, like the Bible say, they're turning your things upside down. Come. The whole, everything has been turned on his head that the inferior, that the recessive is better. Come. You got that? Uh, yes, Leviticus 13 and I think verse 2. Uh, it says, when a man shall have in the skin of his flesh a rising, a scab, or bright spot, and it be in the skin of his flesh like the plague of leprosy, then he mm -hmm. shall be brought unto Aaron, the priest, or unto one of his sons, the priest. Right. So if you have a leprosy of the scalp, as they call it, we're going to see how they identify it. Go ahead. And the priest shall look on the plague in the skin of the flesh. And when the hair in the plague is turned white and the plague in sight be deeper than the skin of his flesh, it is a plague of leprosy. Uh-huh. Keep going. And the priest shall look on him and pronounce him unclean. Uh huh. That's unclean. That's leprosy. Read. If the bright spot be white in the skin of his flesh, 
and in uh, sorry, and in sight be not deeper than the skin, and the hair thereof be not turned white, then the priest shall shut him up that he hath plagued seven days. Mm -hmm. Get to the get to the hair. Um, where is that like verse? Um, Forty one. What does that sound? Which is a yellow thin hair, right? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, so get it's uh, Leviticus 13 and 30. I got, yeah, I got it. Leviticus okay. chapter 13, verse 30. It says, um, I'm gonna start with 30. It says, Then the priest shall see the plague, and behold, if it be in sight deeper than the skin, and there be in it a yellow thin hair, then the a priest, yellow, a, a yellow thin hair, just like the yellow hair that's on these white babies here, that some of our, our children said was beautiful. They don't know that that's something that God cursed, according to the Bible. Read it again, then let's move on. Now, Leviticus 13 to 30. Then the priest shall see the plague, and behold, if it be in sight deeper than the skin, and there be in it a yellow thin hair, then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. Right. So blonde hair, yellow thin, yellow hair is unclean and leprosy of the scalp, according to the Bible. All right. So let me keep reading. In the experimental situation, these dolls were uh, were unclothed except for white diapers. The position of the head, hands, and legs of all dolls was the same. For half of the subjects, the dolls were presented in the order white colored, white colored. For the other half, the order was pre uh, presentation was reversed. In the experiment, the experimental situation, the subjects were asked to respond to the following request by choosing one of the dolls and giving it to the experimenter. Here's what they asked. Give me the doll you like to play with the best. Give me the doll that is the nice doll. Give me the doll that looks bad. Give me the doll that is a nice color. Give me the doll what looks like a white child. Give me the doll that looks like a colored child. Give me the doll that looks like a Negro child. Give me the doll that looks like you, right? So these are the questions they ask. Let's go to, let's go to subjects, right? Let's go to subjects. So it says 253 Negro children form the subjects of this experiment. 134 of these subjects, Southern group, were tested in segregated nursery schools and public schools in Hot Springs, Pine Bluff, and Little Rock, Arkansas. These children had no experience in racially mixed school situations, which is why they were picking the, the black doll when it came to more positive uh, 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 positive enforcement as opposed to negative and they were picking the white doll less when it came to positive as opposed to the north the kids from the north were picking the white doll they were running out of the room when they had to choose when 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 the, when the experimenter said choose which color you are if you're black or white and they were faced with the choice of having to face the fact that they were black, the kids were running out of the class. And we're gonna read that in the article because when you integrate our children, brothers and sisters, they lose that self-worth. They lose that 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 self-pride, that cultural pride, that ethnic yeah, pride. Uh, I'll comment on this. Um, Bill Duke, if y'all don't know who Bill Duke is, Bill Duke is the dude in men's society that says, you know you're fucked up, right? The police. That brother, that actor, he did an interview with DJ Vlad, and he said that when he moved from Georgia to New York, right? So you move from segregation to integration up in the, in, in the in the north. Mm -hmm. uh, that he got so much, he got bullied and made fun of so much by the white kids at the school he went to in New York that he would try to scrub the blackness off his skin. And when that didn't work, he went to attempt to drink bleach because he thought if he drank ingested it, it would turn him white. And his mother stopped, caught, walked in the bathroom, caught him as he was getting ready to drink the bleach and was stopped him. See, but that, that works perfectly with this experiment and the results of what it's showing. Right. And like the brother was saying, we didn't get the, the results from the, the segregated schools, the Negro children from the segregated schools in the South. We got the results from the North that they put out. They didn't put all the kids, uh, 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 some of the kids from the South, they were laughing like, like, are you serious? Of course I'm gonna pick this beautiful black dog because that's all they're seeing. They're seeing they're seeing the love and the support and the pride of their community, right? 
So some people might have a problem with that and say, oh, you think you think segregation is OK? Well, according to the Bible and not only that, according to the facts, which I'm writing a paper now in my sociology class, and this is going to be brought up as well. Integration did not work for the black community. Integration didn't work for the Latino community. Integration didn't work for the Native American community. Yeah, because you got to think about it, man. I'm, I'm going to show you. all Do me a favor, Rock. I want you to get another tab real quick. Okay. I want you to Google this, right? Google Juan Crow. Oh, that's dope. I remember because that. What people don't know is while there was Jim Crow going on in the South, the tribe of Issachar was faced with something called Juan Crow. Look at the images. Just type in the image. Look at the images. They were doing with something called Juan Crow here in California. The same thing, integration of school. The white man wanted the Mexican to have his own school, right? So the Mexican is going through the same type of thing. Some Mexicans are going through the same type of identity crisis mm -hmm. and, and victim to white supremacy the same way the tribe of Judah is. Mm -hmm. All of this has to do with integration. Fighting uh, against Jim Crow and against Juan Crow con. leads to these inferiority complexes that later plague the identities and the minds of blacks and Hispanics. Con. Um, brothers and sisters, if you want to know what source or book I'm reading from, it's actually the original black dog test from 1940 to 41. Um, it's uh, racial identification and preference from Kenneth B. Clark and Mammy P. Clark. All right. This is the first one. So this, this uh, is this, what we're looking at, y'all. We got to understand. So we are looking at this is the scientific record of this. Right. So we're not having to go to any. So this is the, the source of the science of this. Of the the subjects, the results, the uh, everything is here. You see what I'm saying? So this is this is the most authentic and purest source you can get on this information through the spirit. Come. So, all right. So it says, um, these children had no experience in racially mixed school situations. Talking about the Negro kids from the South, right? 119 subjects, Northern group were tested in the racially mixed nursery and public schools of Springfield, Massachusetts, right? So here's the, re here, this is the results. This is how many were from the North, how many are from the South, their ages. This is from ages three to seven, right? Now from, now from age three to five is when most of the Negro children were picking the, a lot of them were picking the white dog, but as they wised up from five to seven, they stopped choosing the white dog, they were choosing the black dog, right? So it says uh, male and female, 53, 66, right? 63, 71 for the South. Um, and then skin color. So you got light skin, Jake, more light in the North, 33 to 13, possibly either mice, we don't know. Uh, medium, 58 to 70, and dark skin Negroes, 28 and 50 to 51 are the South, right? The Negroes dark in the South, huh? So, um, so it says all subjects were tested individually in a schoolroom or office, especially provided for this purpose, except for a few children who showed generalized neg negative negativism from the beginning of the exp uh, experiment. Like a lot of these kids from the South, they was like, I don't want to do this BS. I'm not with it. So their results were not included in this uh, in the article. There was adequate report between the experimenter and all subjects tested. In general, the children showed high interest and enthusiasm for the test materials and testing situation. The children, for the most part, considered the experiment somewhat of a game. Results. Now let's get into the results, what everybody's waiting for, right? So with the results, right? With the Negro children from the North and the Negro children from the South. The first question they asked was question five, six, and seven. So we go back up, what's five, six, and seven? It says, give me the dog that looks like a white child. Give me the dog that looks like a colored child. Give me the dog that looks like a Negro child. Give me the dog that looks like you. These are what they asked first, right? So the children had no, look, it says 94% of these children chose the white dog when, asked the exper when the experimenter asked to give the white dog. They know there's a difference. They know there's not just one race. These Negroes know that there's a war against them and we're not all the same, all right? There is no equality. They knew this for facts back then. 93% of them chose the brown dog when asked to give the colored dog. 
But watch this. And 72%, now this is both children together, North and South. 72% chose the brown dog when asked to give the Negro dog, right? So they they rather be called by color as opposed to Negro, these children, because of the connotation of the Negro that it carries with it, right? So it says these results indicate, um, okay, so let's get into what dog's good, what dog's bad. Um, that's the, uh, the statistics for what we just talked about, the racial identification of who you are. They knew who they were. They knew who the white dog was. And these, the third bracket down here, they didn't give a response, right? So what page is this? This is page, so we got page one, two, and now we're gonna skip to, we're gonna skip to nine and 10 so we can read about which kids picked, which kids pick which dogs, right? Bear with me here, y'all. Okay, so that's the end. That'll be page 10. This will be page nine, right? Cool. So let's deal with page nine. So here we go. It says, choices of subjects in Northern mixed schools and Southern segregated schools. Groups one, request one through four. Uh, okay. Um, where is this at? Colored dog. Okay, there we go. There we go. Here we go. So when they were asked which dog would they want to play with, 28% of the North said colored dog. 37% of the South said colored dog. So here you have, remember, there's 120 from children from the North. There's 130 children from the South. The South has, although they did choose uh, 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 the white doll more, it's a higher rate of, of, of kids from the South choosing to play with the color doll than the North. This is the scientific facts here, 28% to 37%. Why is that? Why is it so significant? Chose to play with the white doll. 72% of the North chose to play with the white doll. 62% chose to play with the white doll from the South. A higher and lower contrast. Which doll is nicer? 30% of the North said the colored dog. 46% of the South said the colored dog. That's almost 20% more than the black kids in the North. 68% chose the white dog to be nice. 52% chose the white dog to be nice from the South, right? Which dog looks bad? 71% of these little Negro kids in the North said the black dog looks bad, but only 49% said the colored dog looks bad. And they were about even on the white dog. Which, which dog has the nicest color? Uh, 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 the North said 37, the South said 40. Um, the North, 63% 60, of the North said the white dog looks better. 57% lower from the South said uh, or, or chose the white dog, rather. Did you want to say something? I see you unmuted. No, I'm good. Okay, so so it says, only at the seven-year-old level do the same number of the children indicate a preference for the skin color of the colored dog as for that of the white dog, right? So the point is this. Uh, Three-year-old, so the results, particularly regimen. Mm. Okay, here we go. Let's look at this, let's look at this. North, South differences. From table eight, it is clear that the Southern children in segregated schools are less pronounced in their preference for the white dog. The segregated children, they're not picking the white dog. They're picking the black dog more so. Not as much as the North. That's why it says compared to the North, children's definite preference for this dog although still in a minority, a higher percentage of Southern children compared to Northern prefer to play with the colored dog or think that it is a nice dog. The critical ratio of this difference is not significant for request one, but approaches significant significance for request two. 
2.75 ratio. A significantly higher percentage, 71, of the northern children compared to southern children, 49%, think that the brown doll looks bad. Critical ratio, 3.68. Also, a slightly higher percent of the southern children think that the brown doll has a nice color, while more northern children think that the white doll has a nice color. In general, it may be stated that northern and southern children in these age groups tend to be similar in the degree of their preference for the white doll with the north children tending to be somewhat more favorable to the white doll than are the southern children the southern children however in spite of their e their their, uh, their equal favorableness toward the white doll are significantly less likely to reject the brown doll as compared to the strong tendency for the majority of the northern children to do so that this difference is not primarily due to the larger number of the light children found in a northern sample is indicated by more intense analysis presented in the complete report, meaning that just because they were light skinned, they weren't picking the white kid. The dark kids from the north were picking the white dog. See, see, and, and, and now, 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 I got to chime in on that. Notice <laughs> that. Notice that it, it's hilarious to me when people like to utilize the argument of, light-skinned people are coons or light-skinned people are house niggas or mixed people etc but as we see the dark-skinned kids had the higher propensity of choosing the white doll for positive things than the light-skinned kids you see what i'm saying so we can't just have a um you you can't just assume something predicated upon anything we have to look it goes into each ind individual's upbringing you see what i'm saying some dark-skinned people was brought up to be coons i'm gonna tell you something um and it, this goes for it, it 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 supersedes skin tone amongst our people some people are just brought up to coon and some aren't but uh it's it's a family i know i know very well all of them are dark skin right and the mother of the family some of the some of the grandkids are light skin and the mother always point out how pretty how much prettier the light skin kids are than the dark skin kids Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So what does that show? That this group of dark skinned people was cooled out. It's just that simple, right? So those light skinned kids now have parents, or at least one of their parents who was dark skinned who got raised by a cool mother who recognizes that and now raises that child with more pro black ideals. So now you have a light skinned person that have more pro black ideals than the dark skinned people that preceded him. So it it, it works all kind of different ways. This this test man is real deep. The information that it's bringing up. Gone. Some quality, quality, qualitative data, right? So let's let's go to. All right, let's go to. Okay, here we go. On the whole, on the whole, the rejection. Let's talk about these kids' rationale to why they chose the white kid over the black kid, or vice versa. On the whole, the rejection of the brown doll and the preference for the white doll, when, it, when explained at all, were explained in rather simple, concrete terms. For white doll preference, because he's pretty, or because he's white, right? For, uh, for rejection of the brown doll, because he's ugly, or because it don't look pretty, or because him black, or got black on him. <laughs> Right, so we're gonna get in the Bible and we're gonna wow. deal with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna get in the Bible and we're gonna deal with that. Uh, I'm gonna read this last paragraph. So it says, On the other hand, some of the children who were free and relaxed in the beginning of the experiment broke down and cried or became somewhat negative, uh, negativistic during the latter part when they were required to make self identification. The white man will make you hate yourself hate your melanin hate that black and beautiful skin hate that brown melanin in you right indeed two children ran out of the testing room unconsolable meaning it's con convulsed in tears meaning frantically ran out the room when they said pick which one of these dolls look like you these black kids this type of behavior, although not so extreme, was more prevalent in the North than the South. Why is that? Why are these segregated black children choosing the white dog less and choosing the black dog more? Why are these segregated black children from the South 
not running out the room crying when they got to identify which dog looks like them. Obviously, there's a problem with the segregation and integration, which is going to further elaborate on. The Southern children who were disturbed by this aspect of the experiment generally indicated their disturbance by TL, a black man conducted all these tests. So it says, uh, uh, um, so the seven kids, when they got disturbed, it says they just chuck it off by smiling or a matter of matter of factly attempting to escape their dilemma, either by attempt, attempted humor or rationaliza rationalization. Rationalization of the rejection of now, the brown doll. Now, now watch this too, though. What is this also showing us? That these kids, these black kids who grew up in the South, who grew up in segregated schools and segregated neighborhoods, actually had more composure and more rationale than the mm -hmm. kids in the North. Because look at the emotional explosions that were more fervent amongst the North, right? Mm -hmm. Then we go back to the South and they're rationalizing their way out of it. So it seems like the kids in the South had overall a more sound mind. Mm -hmm. A higher, a higher, a, a, a more circumspect mind, right? Huh. So it says uh, rationalization of the rejection of the brown doll was found among both northern and southern children. However, a northern medium six-year-old, meaning a brown, a brown complexion, or that's what they mean by medium, justified his rejection of the brown doll by stating that he looks bad because he ain't got an eyelash. A seven-year-old medium northern child justified his choice of the white doll as the doll with the nice color because his feet and hands, ears, elbows, knees, and hair are clean. It gets worse. A northern five-year-old dark child, <clears throat> north, right? All north, all kids in integrated schools, felt compelled to explain his identification with the brown doll by making the following unsolicited statement. I burned my face and made it spoil. This is what this black kid said. He said, the only reason I am black because I burnt my, he looked at these people in the face and said, I burned my face and made it black. I'm not really black. Watch this, last part. A seven-year-old Northern light-skinned child went to great pains to explain that he is actually white, but I look brown because I got a suntan in the summer. Yeah, that 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 that's uh from what they call the term passing, right? When you had certain light skinned people that could pass for white, uh, in the time of segregation, they would say that they were white, and they would say, "Oh, I get a suntan, I'm part Italian, or something like that," to excuse the fact that they would have clearly signs of being black tribe, even from throughout again. Yeah, about shimmy, I'll try break a but it was sh showing you the same things. That was during that time, if people remember, when people were passing. Uh, they would pass for white, so they would pretend to be white, and they would have to explain away why they would have black features. Come on, and it, it's just it's 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 amazing the type of number that the so-called white man can do on our people, and then for our people to still try to save this man for what the Most High has in store for him—the judgment. Our people still want to love. That's that's not called having a big heart. That's called being ignorant, stupid, naive, and dumb. Period. Yeah, yeah. Right? So these our children need to be taught that segregation is not, was not a bad thing. It's biblical. It worked for our people. It gave them self-pride and self-worth. It actually helped generate dollars and build a community. Right? And the kids need to understand the science, the actual science of the, the, the so-called Caucasian man, the Edomites that the Bible speaks of, right? So our kids need to learn that according to science, biology, uh, uh, in the Bible, white skin was never something to compliment as being beautiful, period, right? That's a curse. That's a leprous curse. Matter of fact, let's read that real quick. Numbers chapter 12, verse 10. It said, and the cloud departed from off the tabernacle, and behold, Miram became leprous, white as snow. And Aaron looked upon Miram, and Miram, and behold, she was leprous. 
So according to the Bible, when your skin becomes white as snow, you are leprous. That's something that is unclean, that God hates, that God put puts on you because he has deprived you of, of any type of self-worth, any type of respect. OK. So our kids need to be learning these type of things. They need to be learning the scriptures such as Songs of Solomon one and five. Uh, I am black, but comely, meaning I am black and beautiful. O ye daughters of Jerusalem, as the tents of Kedar. And we see there was more uh, females in that in that um, experiment. They need to be hearing that they're daughters of Jerusalem, black and beautiful, to get that self-pride and that self-worth, right? But let me show you something for these kids that was yeah, and that, that's this white why, skin. That's why them white girls is going around making themselves look black and going on Instagram because they realizing that now that we have more of a um more than being controlled. Like when we look at media, how it's always been is controlled, be it advertisements, etc. But now you got Instagram, you got social media now. So now people can make their own decisions as to what they like. So they see all the dark skinned girls, all the black girls are getting all the attention on social media. So now you got the white girl going and making herself look like a black girl in order for her to get that same attention. Come right, showing you that all this is coming to an end, man, through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, because the, the Esau's time is about over. All this madness that he's indoctrinating our people with, man, that, that got these kids giving us the results that they're giving in this experiment, man. This is getting ready to come to an end. And in part, of course, due to the work that we're doing through the spirit and power of your by Shem Yahweh Shai. Khan, so let me let, let me read this. I'm gonna show you just how much not only does God hate white skin, but nature hates white skin. That's let's take what? a look at let's take a look at skin cancer, right? This is from the CDC, right? Everybody know about the CDC. Check this it's out. right here in Atlanta. Let, 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 let's take it. Let's take it. Let's take a look at skin cancer. Let's take a look at white skin cancer, right? Let's look at the demographics here, right? Let's look at the demographics here. Uh, where's my demographics? There we go. So let's look at these demographics for skin cancer at the CDC, right? Look at this. Where are they at? Not just cancer. I mean, skin cancer. Where are we at here? Okay, that's all type of cancer. Where is the skin cancer at? Rate of new cancer. Uh, types of cancer. Here we go. Let's go to skin cancer since we're dealing with skin. What would it be at on here? I don't want to go to rectum cancer. That's not good for nobody. There we go. I'm sure white people are leading that as well. <laughs> Look at this. So let's deal with skin cancer. Look at the white man right here. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you all about that. Yeah. <laughs> the white man just leading it. See, I mean, by a, he's in the lead by 20%. Yeah, look at, look at black, black, Hispanics 4.4. And natives 5.9, islanders 1.3, black people 1.0, the white man 25.1%. I'm surprised Asians are so low. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, you know, Asians can smoke cigarettes their whole life. Yeah, they they're don't, built they don't like, get cancer. They actually have the lowest rate of cancer, period. Right. They're built like roaches, bro. <laughs> they really last. Like, Talk about that. Look at this. Look at this. Uh, rate of new cancers by sex and rape ethnicity. The white man, 31.3%. White female, 20.5. Yeah, yeah, they're women aged like, like, no. Look, and, and, and I'm gonna show y'all something, right? To prove that. Watch this. What's this devil's name? I just saw her in a movie. Uh, you, you spelled it wrong, I think. But you don't mind. It's going to correct me. It's going to correct me. Watch this. Hold on. I want to. Who's got a. Did they got a side by side for me? Look up. Mm -hmm. Hey, 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 hey Dick. Look, look up. I want you to type this in your Google search. Gwyneth Paltrow. Right? I just seen the damn movie. 
right? The damn Avengers, right? She's in there. I said, damn, What's that white bitch aged bad. Gwyneth, G-W-Y-N-E-T-H. It, it's going gonna, it's gonna to put you in boom. Okay. There she go. Oh, Click all the images, side, right? Side by side. How about a side by side? Let's look at that. Look at how bad she's aged. Wow. Let's type this in. Aged. When it aged. Yeah, type, in, type in the images. She's 46 years old. Let's do some images. Oh, God, she looks every bit of it. Every bit of 46. Oh, my goodness. So where is it? Go yeah. to the one. I'm going to tell you. See, now, this ain't good. Type, we need to look at the tabloids. Type in aging. Type, put in aging instead of aged, right? Because this is what I'm yeah, looking these at. These is all Photoshop. I mean, these aging. is all Photoshop. Oh, God. Look at that. Look at that. Go to that one right there. That one where she's laying down. No, that one. That one's good, too. That one's good, too. That you on, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go to that one yeah, where she's she laying looking, down. She's looking a hard 60. She's looking, oh, God. She's looking old. Now, look. She's 46, right? So let's just look at uh what oh, Gab, Gabrielle Union. Let's just, let's go there, right? Oh my god, look at that. So let's look at Gabrielle Union. She is 46. Now, how did I get bet that now now pull up Gabby? I got it. <laughs> and now now did we see it. that? Now we remember Gabrielle Union from 20 years ago, right? We also remember Gwyneth Paltrow from 20 years ago, right? Remember, she was in the movie A uh, Shallow How, right? Shallow how. Yeah. We look up fun. shallow how, right? You see how Gwyneth is looking here. Now that was how long ago was that? That was 17 or 18 years ago. In 18 years, God, a lot has changed. But if you mm -hmm. take a look at Gabrielle Union, not a lot has changed in 18 years. <laughs> see? Right. And, but 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 there's not superior. God doesn't prefer somebody here. Yeah, God I mean, we love somebody a little more than he loves somebody else here. <laughs> <laughs> right, we see we see it we see it in nature, we see it in biology, genetics, we see it in the Bible. It's just the white man is genetically, biologically inferior to the Israelites, the Black Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's just facts. So, All like, right? uh, real quick, um, uh, I can run uh, uh, the how about Shem Yahusha Bragatha? I just saw that. So, like. Con. Okay, now let's go to let's close this. Let's go because a lot of the kids were picking um, the white doll because of the blue eyes, right? Look at this eye color. Eye color. This is this is from sc sclorusa.com, right? Eye pigment. Let's talk about eye pigment. Eye color is created by melanin, which also dictates skin color. The more melanin in your iris which is the colored area surrounding a pupil, the darker your eye color will be. Caucasian babies are born with no melanin and thus have blue eyes until about three years of age when their eyes darken to its permanent color. Asians and black babies are born with dark brown eyes. More melanin also means better protection from the sun. The pigment in your eyes literally protects your retina. That's right? why they be blind, they be having vision issues that's why you see so much more white people wear glasses than other nations, than black and Hispanic. And yeah, 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 them damn Oakleys. Yeah, they don't take them damn Oakleys off. They keep them <laughs> Oakleys on. Why? Because they need, they, they don't have protection naturally. So they have to go into outside sources. I'm going to tell you what's funny, right? I was watching the Joe Budden podcast earlier, right? They got two devils on there. And uh, Joe Budden and Maul was making jokes about how much SPF them white boys needed. And uh, the white boy Rory said straight up, he said, if I go in by the poolside, I have to be in the shade or I'm turning pink. Now, watch this. I want to pull this up. We did a video on this a long time ago, but. Um, now, watch this. Oh, this this. This camera, there's something called a UV camera or a oh, UV yeah. lens. Mm -hmm. And it shows you that when you put sunscreen on, you're literally putting on melanin, right? So I want to, are, are they going, are they going friend, copyright fringe if we, if I play it? They, they shouldn't, they should just mute the, mute the sound. Okay, let me, let me do this real quick. Let me just play this real quick. Essentially they have to make themselves black or they have to trick the sun into thinking that they're black. Right, 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 right. 
So let's see how important your black skin is, your brown skin is, your melanated skin is, brothers and sisters and children, right? Let's take a look at this UV camera here. Look at this. Yeah, uh, that, that why do you think Esau would try to get with the Canaanite woman and the Ishmaelite woman? He's just trying to escape this thing. Right. He want to now. He want to get with the Israelite woman. He's trying to escape this curse. Look at look at look at her putting that black melanin on. And so, in in we see it as white, but the sun sees it as you just put on some black skin. So I'm gonna give your ass a pass this time. Look at those thugs. Look at those thugs vandalizing. <laughs> so that's how important that that's how important it is. Let me read a couple of scriptures. Um, hey, real quick, let me get this in Job real quick. Get that in Job, because this is a good one. Go ahead. It's Job 18 and 13. Uh-huh. It shall devour the strength of his skin. That's right. The strength of his skin, the doctrine of white supremacy mm -hmm. that is that is mm -hmm. fortified whiteness and mm -hmm. gave it a doctrine and made it come to life and indoctrinated people with it and got people drunk on it. He's going to destroy the strength of his skin, the white supremacist doctrine. Read. Even the firstborn of death, Yahawashai, read, shall devour his strength. That's right. So when Yahawashai come, he's coming to bring the white man down. He's coming to bring white lives down. He's coming to bring white supremacy down. He's coming to bring the people who have indoctrinated black children, Hispanic children, with the idea that they're inferior and it's better to be white. He's coming to bring that down. That's right. All right. So then for the newcomers, like I said, we, we're talking to the newcomers. We know we're going to get some new, some new, uh, 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 some new traffic from this video. So we need to be teaching our children the the, the biblical image of Christ, how he was a, 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 a brown, melanated man with woolly hair, right? So Revelation 1, 13, we're going to read this real quick. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks was one like unto the son of man, clothed with the garment down to the foot and girt about with the paps with the golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, Wooly and not only brothers and sisters, you little ones. I, I, now I'm just talking to the little ones, right? You little ones. Not only is your your melanin, your brown, beautiful skin, uh, 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 um, a um, a delicacy, right? A gift and blessing from the Most High, but so is your hair, right? You were made in His image, so the Most High is sun, melanated, woolly hair, right? And his eyes like a flame of fire, and his feet unto fine brass, right? As if they burn in a furnace, and his voice is the sound of many waters. So we see clearly in the text that even our Lord and Savior, who a lot of you black churches worship and, and don't even know who the hell you're serving or calling on, was a melanated brown black man with woolly hair, right? So this is how important it is that we have to instill in these children. Even back then, the segregation was cool, but they wasn't instilling in, into them the deeper biblical principles, right? So uh, I want to read this as well. Deuteronomy 32 and 8. It says, when the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam. So is the Most High a separatist? Did he segregate, segregate the nations? Did he divide them? Absolutely. And that was the plan, God's plan for man, right? From the beginning. So we seen that when we got over here, um, that we was put into that predicament, but it actually worked better for us than integrating, which is why you seen on the, on the actual scientific research that the children from the South were picking the black doll more when it came to positive things and picking the white doll less when it came to positive things. So when we instill these documents, I'm sorry, these uh these these principles into our children, then that's gonna that's gonna give us that sense of uh, uh, self pride and, and and ethnic pride and, and culture, right? Instead of some multi ethnic cultural fake church that you're trying to replace Israel with, right? So Tobit four and twelve, because this is also a form of of segregation as well, dealing with your own women. Not uh, uh, not having interracial marriages, right? So it says, "Beware of all whoredom, my son, and chiefly take a wife of thy seed of thy fathers, and take not a strange woman to wife, which is not of thy father's tribe. For we are all the children of the prophets. 
Noah, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, remember my son that our fathers from the beginning, even they all marry wives of their own kindred and were blessed in their children and their seed shall inherit the land. So here we have the Bible giving us that, that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to not only don't integrate with the educational system or with their communities and their neighborhoods, but also don't integrate in marrying and having unions with their women or their men, vice versa, dealing with the Israelite women, right? So last scripture, now I want to make a statement. This is 2 Maccabees 4 and 15. Not setting by the honors of their fathers, but liking the glory of the Grecians, best of all. And that's what we've seen a lot with our children. We've seen them liking the glory of the Grecians, which this is nothing new. Everything comes around again and happens. Nothing is new under the sun. So we've seen our people liking how those Edomite white Greeks looked, how they, how they were adulterous, how they were living in that decadent society, homosexuality, uh, idolatry. Um, so we, we, we went after them before and it came around again uh, in this time, right? So we got to break those curses. We got to break those cycles by instilling the right principles into our children, into the little ones, right? Because all we did was fight for integration to get integrated into a K through 12 white European education system that's not teaching us anything and but white supremacy. All messed up. Come on. Right? So watch this precept on that note. We'll just bring this precept up. It's Proverbs 20:26. It says, train up a child in the way he should go. Mm -hmm. And when he is old, he will not depart from That's it. right. It's important that we teach our children these ideals and we give them a sense of self-dignity in who they are and their identity. Oh, God. Like, that, that, well, my, my father's not in the truth, but he certainly did tell me how important it was to be black and that I was black and also that Hispanics were my brothers, also that the white man was the devil. My father taught me all these things, not even being in the truth, right? So that was always in my mind. So then by the time I come into the truth, I say, oh, this is some of the same information that my father had been already dispensing to me, right? Mm -hmm. So it's it's good because I I kept all of those things, you know, ingrained into my mind. You know, even like, like for example, my daughter. My daughter, see, like, if a brother comes to the house and he got tattoos, of course, he had he got tattoos prior to him knowing that it was wrong. And and she just told her brother Rakab earlier, she said, hey, man, she pointed at her, she said, tattoos are bad, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Why? Because she's had, that's being ingrained up into her that, these are the laws of God. These are the can and cannot do's. And these are the things that we are supposed to follow. So you have to ingrain children with this, man, because if you're not doing that, they're just going to follow whatever the hell they're told. They, they're they going to be subject subject to indoctrination at any moment. Right. So go ahead. Huh. Or that was it on that. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. Oh, real, real quick. Uh, the sister had a good point. We should really. The next experiment we do with the black, white, black doll or white dog, we should say, which doll is the serial killer? <laughs> That's what we should say. Which yeah. doll is the serial killer? And they all going to choose the white dog. <laughs> There's only one. There's only mm -hmm. one answer. But go ahead, uh, Shatar side. John, this is Deuteronomy chapter 6, uh, verse 6 through 7. It says, and these words which I command thee this day shall be in thine heart. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and shall talk of them when thou sittest in thine house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. See that? So you got it. That's that's teaching these kids these laws, touch commandments, and our ways, man, and important, and, and our and our nationality, our heritage. This is what our kids need to understand, man. And if they have that sense of dignity, they're going to walk around in life with their head held high, right? With that dignity, they're going to do it. So go ahead. I mean, um, that's pretty much it. you want to keep going. No, nah, that that's fine uh, on that. Yeah, but you know, it, it it's it's important, man. And also, like the brother said, segregation, man. We clearly see the kids who have more of a sense of self dignity and pride and awareness and identity were the ones who grew up in segregated areas. So it shows what integration has done, man. It it, it hasn't helped us in the way you think. The only way that you can say that it helped us is. The, the the black water fountain was dirtier than the white water fountain, right? Or the or the white things were were better and higher quality than the black things. Uh, Ra Maya, Bun Yahweh, uh, the water soldier Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh, Shah Barakatha, were higher quality than the black things. So now we both have access, but the things both of us have access to are crap anyway. Nowadays, 
So, so integration is not beneficial, man. That's what we have to understand. You know, that, that, that that's clearly right. shown in the data that we presented through the spirit tonight. Right. True indeed. And uh, if you didn't catch the beginning, go back and watch it. We got the original science, the, the original research from the actual uh, experiment, clearly showing you that um, the segregated black children, um, that they didn't want to put this information out. They didn't want to put those video clips. Well, they didn't do videos back then, but they just didn't want to put this information out for us to see. Um, so rewind the show, watch it again, and learn that the segregated black kids had a higher self-esteem than the black children in the North, man. That's right. Because we was about our own. We was about our own. We take care of our own. Right? <laughs> take care of our own, man. So uh, we can open it up for a Q&A for about five minutes, and then we got to go. Yeah, yeah, we do a little Q&A. So whatever questions y'all got, go ahead. Questions, questions. We're in Seattle. Every Saturday at Fourth and Pine. We're in the Bay every Saturday on 16th and Mission in San Francisco. How do you stop smoking weed? Pray and fast and stop. We got soldiers in North Carolina. Indianapolis, we currently have no plans to come to Indianapolis. We're in Phoenix, Arizona, or Tempe, Arizona. No, we have nothing in Indiana. All right, from downtown. In a couple cities, I believe in Raleigh or in Durham and in Greensboro, I believe. Go around 4 o'clock in, a, in, in a San Francisco. You can't eat pork ever. This nigga's a scoffer, man. I see three definitions from Anza. Yeah, because that's uh, Antonio Bishop, because that's a Jewish custom, because they go off of who your mother is. You are who your mother is. Derek Yehuda, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah Brakata. Yeah, I, I got a couple joints on there. Don't you worry. I'm getting ready to present them soon. So just look out for that. I got them, uh, I, I got them digital now. So, uh, Look, look for those soon. I the water for that. Our time. Our time is soon, brother. We holding us back. Uh, somebody put the, the uh, email in the chat. If you want to get in contact with the North Carolina brothers, contact this email. There you go. How do you fast? You uh Ken Masters, you how about the water? How do you fast? You withhold yourself from food for an allotted amount of time, preferably twelve about twelve hours, or food and drink, or just you know what I'm saying, something to that effect. You could withhold yourself from meat for an extended period of time. There's different ways you could fast. No, we don't post up at Creflo's church. Uh, blessed to you as well, Genesis Malachi. Yeah, but that email that they posted right there in the chat, hit that up if you want to get in contact. Are you going to Storm Mountain, Georgia in August? I hear there's a one race big movie being held here. If you Google one race, yeah. nah, man, I'm cool off Storm Mountain. 
I'm right here in the A, baby. <laughs> I said, how do I make myself right before God? You confess your sin to him and you turn from it. You don't return to it. Some brothers certainly need the alcohol fast. And I love ordering brothers to go on alcohol fast. That's one of my favorite things to do. It's all time and repetition. Through the spirit and the power of your house, by Shemiah Washai, Mr. Rig. Tampa, most I will soon. I wanted to do this Florida trip ASAP, to be honest with you. I want to hit Florida up. So don't worry, I'm going to be in contact with the Florida Ocum. Yes, you can pray for destruction against the oppressor. How you get in contact with Tempe? Hit that email. Put the email again. And Soldier Icaron Bonashar, you see in the in the comment in the live chat, he's from Tempe. Or he's in a camp that's based out of Tempe. So send us an email. The same thing that happens you fall to sin anytime. Stroke boogie. Yeah, how about some y'all shot bracket thought? The water. Hey Sins, what are you talking about? Man, I don't know, man. Eric Mason, man, needs to stop being a punk, man. How that white boy vocab got more heart than his full-grown black ass. That's pathetic, you know? <laughs> Meanwhile, vocab Malone is stalking me. Yeah, but he, he wants us to talk about stalker level. He's stalker level. Bro. Hey, man, call my Allah, man. I'm going to come to Tampa. I'm going to see about you, man. Anybody in Casey Mo? Do we have somebody? It's a prospect in, in Kansas, Kansas City. City. We got yeah, I think couple, we got a, we got a couple. Then we got some prospects out there uh, to the brother Derek. Yeah, Stro Boogie, Divine. I called Divine up there, so we were on the outside, and Divine went on the inside. So he's the one that gave us the word that uh, he was um he that he left because he went in there asking. Because we was we was with him. If you watch the tape, we're with him on the outside, and then um he's like, all right, I'm gonna just go in and see if he's in there. Okay, all right. Y'all wanna stay on? Yeah, I'll stay on a little bit. Okay, all right. Hey, you have watching me try about that. Yeah, what's your about that? Did we not make atonement in the temple for us? Yes, certainly. Hey, last time I hung everybody up, so I'm just gonna put it on me. Okay. So yeah, so certainly uh we made atonement in the temple, but it was prophesied that the that the uh, sacrifice would cease because the temple was destroyed. So in faith in Christ, that is our atonement. And in presenting our bodies a living sacrifice. Man, Deacon ain't coming nowhere. Well, y'all y'all saying he dodged divine too. Us and divine were collaboratively there doing that. So when he dies us, he dies divine. It was one and the same. Yeah, anybody can any Hebrew, any black, Hispanic, or Native American could come to the Hebrew summit, brother. We go live Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and this month, Friday. By the lunar cycle, when the new moon comes in every Saturday, every seven days thereafter is a Shabbat up until the time of the next new moon. <laughs> The ones that are outlined in the Vegas 23. Uh, What's the challenge you guys or something? I don't know, man. All right. All right. I'm out of here. With that, we're going to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High God, Yahweh. We do so in the name of His only begotten Son, who the world calls Christ, Yahweh Shai, or Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Baraka Thumb, and Shalom. Shalom.